Yes, my Jamaican people. Well, you know, I'm just going to touch on a little sports, you understand? Because most Jamaicans always wonder why um, Carl Lewis, a farmer, US track and field sprinter and long jumper, who won nine gold medals and one silver Olympic medal during his competitive career, which ran from 1979 to 1996. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel, where you get nothing but facts, not hyperbole. You have to give credit to all the YouTubers, you know, who do their research and deliver the evidence. So I'm going to share with you some evidence, the reason why um, American sprinter and farmer, track and field star Carl Lewis and long jumper, why he hated Jamaicans, especially Usain Bolt. And you wanted to listen to this. Very, very interesting. Um, you can say maybe um, it's the first, Jama um, the first time you're hearing it. So listen, I want you to listen to this you know, for yourself. One love. So you, that's how you justify it, it's like everybody, everybody's cheating. Yes. When I interviewed Ben Johnson, he just basically said, look, everybody was on something. You know? Well, you know, I, Ben, and bless his heart, he's got to say that so everyone's on something. That's justifying his own means. So he has a problem with you. You have a beating. problem. You have a problem of, you know, me uh, beating him. Yeah. When we were taking that victory stand, we were on the stand, and he got the gold medal, he didn't smile. He never smiled, he never celebrated. And the thing is, he couldn't really inside share in the joy of winning, he cheated. Mm -hmm. You cheat, everybody cheats. Nobody's in, in this world is perfect. Nobody's in, in his life is perfect, nobody. They know that 1988, that, you know, six Americans at least test positive in Seoul, and they ushered up because the biggest money comes from America. So who's gonna get shafted? Americans or Ben Johnson? I think that Ben Johnson was unfairly singled out. I think that there's always scapegoats. Is there a lot of drug use going on in Olympics? No, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Dr. Exum was the director of anti-doping at the U.S. Olympic Committee for 10 years. He thought his job was to stop drugs in sports, but his bosses had other priorities. He told me that over 2,000 American athletes failed their drug tests, including Carl Lewis, and they were covered up. Nobody believes Carl Lewis ever failed a drug test. Do you have any proof? Oh, certainly. We have uh, just boxes of proof for everything that I say. There it is, book three. Here's a letter from then executive director uh, Baron Pittenger uh, to Mr. Lewis. I must confirm that analysis for your specimen B was positive for pseudoephedrine, ephedrine, and phenylpropylamine. Is that what it is? Phenylpropanolamine, yeah. IOC banned stimulants. By policy of the USOC, this finding is cause for disqualification from the Olympic team for the 1988 Summer Olympic Games in Seoul, Korea. Wow. This was basically a letter that said that you had failed the test and that there was a consequence to that failure. Um, as, as you all know, that didn't come about. You actually received a letter or, or a call yes. that you had failed a drug test right. because of uh, some stimulants? Yeah, it was like a cold, like a cold medicine type thing, a herbal supplement. They made up this term, it was called inadvertent use. An athlete took something without meaning to take it or without meaning to gain an advantage from taking it. Uh -huh. And so they made that up to basically kind of let people off the hook? Oh, yeah. yeah. Carl's story is, 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 you know, it's been a cold medicine, it's been a tea, uh, it's been some kind of a nutrient. It's, it's a stimulant. So you're saying these athletes, they know they what's definitely, on they the totally, They substance. totally know. I mean, they are bombarded with the banned substance list. A lot of people say you failed the drug test, you raced against Ben Johnson, and that maybe, like, maybe, you know, the gold medal should I, go to the guy. I, I in understand, next place. I understand. There are a lot of people that are going to go to their grave saying, I know he did it. And you know what? The hell with him. You really cannot fault the athlete for doing that. You can't fault Carl when Carl's belief is that the system sets some rules and that you need to follow them. And they made an exception in his case. They made an exception in a lot of people's cases. But it's the system that actually teaches athletes to think that way. You know, for me, the, the whole level playing field was a myth. If we could not do anything to take doping out of sports, then doping was meant to be in sports. Yeah, so now that you have listened to the video, um, listen to the, um, the, 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 the recording, um, 
one of one of the men that you yeah, you can hear on on in the audio is Jamaican born Ben Johnson. You know the man that um, you know during the Seoul Olympics um, when he was tested um, for drugs big time. But guess what? The man that he beat in the race, you know, if you know, you know, you understand what I'm saying, was Carl Lewis. But Carl Lewis was drugged too, but Ben Lewis drug was better. So Ben Lewis, Ben, ben Chance beat Carl Lewis and Carl Lewis was mad. So, as you have heard, Carl Lewis, he's admitted in the recording that um, he was tested positive for drugs um, during his career. But um, it is not something that you, you see in in the press, you understand what I'm saying? Like, um, or you would see like Justin Gatlin and all those people. I you know, we don't know why. But you got to understand that um, Carl Lewis, you know, he won 12, you know, 10 world championship gold medal, including eight at the world championship. And, you know, being Jamaican and being black, you know, during those times when Carl Lewis was running, you know, any black people, you know, whether, you know, it doesn't matter what part of the world you are from, or we, you know, or, or where you are living, once a black man is in a race with other people, you're going to cheer for him. And whether or not people want to believe it, Jamaicans, as much as, much as we had runners, but they weren't um, producing as, you know, as they're doing now because, you know, because of the technology that catch up with the, with the, with the cheaters, you know, most Jamaicans are always cheer for Americans because Americans predominantly during the Olympics are black people. You understand? And that's the only time that we know back in Jamaica that's when black people are revered and celebrated in America. So we always cheer for them. You understand? So for um, Carl Lewis to be eating and Usain Bolt, you know, it's mind-boggling. But, you know, it just goes to show you that, um, you know, that's how people are. Um, Carl Lewis last won an Olympic medal in 1996 and is one is one of just six olympians to win gold in the same individual event in four consecutive games a decade long record of consecutive winning long jump is one of the longest winning streak in the history of the event following his retirement from competitive athletics he become became a film actor and in 2011 Carl Lewis ran as a Democrat for a seat in New Jersey Senate, but was rem removed because he did not meet residency requirement. <laughs> Boy, I don't know if he so test positive for, <laughs> for a re residency in New York. So, boy, the man, boy, I mean, I know him just all these, I try for, you know, I try for do some little pretzels thing and them thing about them, him get caught. And so they remove him from it, you know. So he was tested positive for a bond stimulants. Three times in 1988, but was let, let off because that was normal practice at the time. He was served with a suspension that was later thrown out. He constantly made negative comments about Usain Bolt, believe he is still relevant, he's a relevant voice in the sport. In 2020-15, interview with the Times of India, Carl Lewis responded to the comment, Bolt made about sprint rival Tyce Gay, saying that Gay should have been banned for failing dope tests rather than suspend in 2013. Noting that Bone raised a legitimate issue, but question whether a Jamaican should point a finger on doping issue, as many doping related issues had related to Jamaican athletes as well, and that Bone should first think of cleaning up his own house. Uh, well, you know, that's kind of sad and um, brother Carl party, you understand what I'm saying? Because we see him both is not responsible for anybody else of Jamaican background who tested positive for drugs. You know, that's the thing. You know. But uh, I know that the, the, the beating that Ben Johnson beat him that that was wicked. You know, so you understand. So it was two men on drugs and boy the man with the biggest with the bigger drugs or so whip him, you know. But that was then. But anyway, you know, it goes to show you that um it's always good to, you know, keep the slate clean. You understand? And, you know, just do the right thing at all times. Um, during his, his tenure, I know that if not uh, every Jamaican was cheering for Carl Lewis and all the black um, athletes in America because we know as people from, the, from Jamaica, we know that our ancestors were brought on the slave ship from Africa. But the only difference is that why Carl Lewis um, was running under the American flag is because 
his ancestor was dropped off at the American port because we are all family. All of us are from Africa. It doesn't matter what nationality that we have now. You understand? We are all black people coming from the same continent of Africa and came to the West on slave ships. Anyway, thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And most of all, yeah, man, share your comments. You understand what I'm saying? Have yourself a blessed day. All right, brother Carl, Lewis, all the best to you to my brother. I will see you in both. No man can take away your shine. Boy, Ben Johnson, I just saw you go bridge and you get caught. Bless it.